Uh, Madam Speaker, there's much not to like in this bill, and there's a lot to be angry about how we got here. And if this passes, our job will not be done. We will have further efforts that will be required, especially to stabilize the housing market. Uh, but I want to share, I chair the California Democratic delegation, I want to share with members the communications we've received from the California's governor and from the treasurer of the state of California. The governor tells us, uh, and I, this is a quote, it is dawning that California, the eighth largest economy in the world, cannot obtain financing in the normal course of its business yep. to bridge our annual lag between expenditures and revenues. This means that California may soon be forced to delay payments for critical services such as teachers, law enforcement, and nursing homes. The same uh, would happen to California cities and counties. Our treasurer, Bill Lockyer, has told us for 10 days state and local governments have been closed out of credit markets long term and short term in spite of the fact that they represent no default risk and provide a good tax-free return. He says without prompt federal action to address the economic crisis, we have no market access. That means the state's cash reserves will be exhausted near the end of October, payments for teachers, salaries, nursing homes, law enforcement, and every other state-funded service would stop or be significantly delayed. California's 5,000 cities, counties, school districts, and special districts would face the same fate. There is a $7 billion revenue anticipation note that the state needs to, uh, to float uh, to meet cash flow um, needs and they cannot sell those revenue anticipation notes because of the credit freeze. Folks, what this means is that the state of California, the eighth largest economy in the world, will not be able to meet payroll by the end of this month unless we take action to unfreeze these credit markets. So I wanted to make sure that every Californian and really every American knew, and I'd ask unanimous consent that these communications be made part Without of the record. Objection. The gentlewoman's time has expired. The gentleman from Alabama. 